I'm Steven and this is your Daily Energy Report. Suntech ends dispute with Global Solar Fund. Suntech reported that it has reached a settlement with GSF, an affiliate that was buying Suntech's panels to build solar electricity plants in Europe. The dispute started after GSF failed to deliver millions of dollars worth of bonds that it had promised to give Suntech to use as collateral for a loan. Terms of the settlement will see Suntech augment its stake in GSF to 88.15% from a previous 79.3%. But more important than the terms is the fact that Suntech has resolved the matter, which was most likely a vital condition for the renegotiation of Suntech's $451 million in bonds that will mature in a week. Solar Freedom's crusade to reduce rooftop install costs by 50%. According to Solar Freedom Now, soft costs are the main culprit why rooftop installs in the US cost twice as much as it does in Germany, even though panel prices have dropped significantly. These extra expenses include local permits, multiple inspections, interconnection requirements, and more, while a German consumer simply fills out a form and follows a simple standardized procedure. Solar Freedom Now has outlined a step-by-step -step process to reduce these costs. The group is calling for a single national policy giving homeowners the right to install a standard under 10 kilowatt system using a more simplified scheme. Hanergy anticipates thin film solar to gain market share. As big silicon cell manufacturers stumble, Hanergy Holding Group sees its technology to take a bigger share of the market in the near future. Hanergy acquired two overseas thin film companies, including California's Miasol Incorporated, in the past year to advance its technology and compete with its rivals. Hanergy plans to develop more than 2 gigawatts of solar power plants worldwide this year utilizing its own panels. Using Hanergy technology, the cost to produce 1 watt of energy is around 50 cents, but the company aims to cut it by 10% by this year. China drives record solar growth as panel makers suffer. The $77 billion solar energy industry is forecasted to expand the most as China becomes the biggest market and drives annual global installations to a record high. China, after building scores of factories that helped cut panel prices 20% in the past year, is poised to become the biggest consumer of solar devices after doubling its 2013 target for new projects in January. Tumbling prices are benefiting installers including Solar City Corporation and SunPower Corporation of California, while hurting manufacturers such as LDK Solar Company of China and Norway's Renewable Energy Corporation, ASA. For more energy news and analysis, visit dailyenergyreport.com.